enabled best friends look like, especially to children? What does AI-enabled war look like? Does AI perceive aspects of reality humans do not? When AI participates in assessing and shaping human action, how will humans change? What then will it mean to be human? For the past four years, we and Meredith Potter, who augments Kissinger's intellectual pursuits, have been meeting, considering these and other questions, trying to comprehend both the opportunities and the challenges posed by the rise of AI. In 2018 and 2019, Meredith helped us translate our ideas into articles that convinced us we should, and with her continued help we could, expand them into this book. Our last year of meetings coincided with the COVID-19 pandemic, which forced us to meet by video conference, a technology that not long ago was fantastical but now is ubiquitous. As the world locked down, suffering losses and dislocations it has only suffered in the past century during wartime, our meetings became a forum for human attributes AI does not possess. Friendship, empathy, curiosity, doubt, worry. To some degree, we three differ in the extent to which we are optimistic about AI. But we agree the technology is changing human thought knowledge, perception, and reality, and in so doing, changing the course of human history. In this book, we have sought neither to celebrate AI nor to bemoan it. Regardless of feeling, it is becoming ubiquitous. Instead, we have sought to consider its implications while its implications remain within the realm of human understanding. As a starting point, and, we hope, a catalyst for future discussion, we have treated this book as an opportunity to ask questions, but not to pretend we have all the answers. It would be arrogant for us to attempt to define a new epoch in a single volume. No expert, no matter his or her field, can single-handedly comprehend a future in which machines learn and employ logic beyond the present scope of human reason. Societies, then, must cooperate not only to comprehend, but also to adapt. This book seeks to provide the listener with a template with which they can decide for themselves what that future should be. Humans still control it. We must shape it with our values. Chapter 1 Where We Are in late 2017, a quiet revolution occurred. Alpha Zero, an artificial intelligence, AI program developed by Google DeepMind, defeated Stockfish, until then the most powerful chess program in the world. Alpha Zero's victory was decisive. It won 28 games, drew 72, and lost none. The following year, it confirmed its mastery. In 1,000 games against Stockfish, it won 155, lost 6, and drew the remainder. Normally, the fact that a chess program beat another chess program would only matter to a handful of enthusiasts. But Alpha Zero was no ordinary chess program. Prior programs had relied on moves conceived of, executed, and uploaded by humans. In other words, prior programs had relied on human experience, knowledge, and strategy. These early programs' chief advantage against human opponents was not originality, but superior processing power, enabling them to evaluate far more options in a given period of time. By contrast, Alpha Zero had no pre-programmed moves, combinations, or strategies derived from human play. Alpha Zero's style was entirely the product of AI training. Creators supplied it with the rules of chess, instructing it to develop a strategy to maximize its proportion of wins to losses. After training for just four hours by playing against itself, Alpha Zero emerged as the world's most effective chess program. As of this writing, no human has ever beaten it.